Hello guys, welcome to Zenematics. Uh, this is a video for O levels. Um, this will cover a relevantly new topic that has been added to our syllabus, that is uh, nets of a 3D shape. Uh, and we're going to look at a couple, uh, a couple of nets before, and then we will do a um, few past paper questions that have been tested in past two to three years. So let's get started um, straight away. Um, we're going to understand uh, what nets are basically um, and I, I'll just show you um, a couple of ways uh, uh, in which we can um, you know really um, uh, perceive them so it's it's just a matter of perception net is when we have a 3d shape just like you know we have these 3d shapes right in front of you and you try to open them so you have to imagine that this is a hollow shape made of cardboard or paper if you want to imagine like that and you're going to open that shape and if you open that and put it into a flat surface you have to imagine what sort of, what sort of a shape it would look like before i start forward i'm going to tell you beforehand that there are so many different nets that can be made from the same shape and i'm going to show you by just changing the way the box is open or the shape is open so for example let's start with a cuboid let's start with a cuboid now if it is a cuboid over here we can see this is like you know a perfect six shape six sided cuboid and if i try to open it and it will now you can you guys can see i'm going to slow it down slow the process so you guys can see that my lower face is at the base and sides are falling down the left uh, the front and the back and the whole upper portion goes out and this is a net for this shape but of course this can be open in a very different way as well we can change that and we can see a different sort of a net instead of that now it's the same shape again but now we're going to open it in a different way so now now you can see that the left the front side is falling apart in a different way and the sides are going in a different way so in the exam question as well you guys have to understand the way they are opening the net and if they have not mentioned any particular way in that case you can comfortably you can comfortably um, uh, take an option and um, sometimes the clue is in the amount of space given sometimes if you're trying to open the net in a particular direction you are not able to because they have not given enough space on the grid on that side so that gives you a hint of not opening the net in that side for example this is the most common way to perceive this now if I open this net you guys can see the sides are falling off and the top goes with one of the sides now which side is it going to go with now totally depends upon where you have place on your uh, on your diagram now for example over here if you have extra boxes on the left hand side it's wise to open the top on the left hand side and if you have so this was the box this is how the box was looking like you have to imagine that you're looking for, at it from the top I open the box so let's just make edges and boxes so that it becomes really easy for you to see that shapes are falling off on the sides and this is what a net is basically so it's a little bit of imaginative process do not panic if you're not able to do it right away you will be able to do it like with appropriate practice now I'm going to change the shape so first of all um, net can be made from different various uh, orientations depending upon uh, the amount of uh, boxes you have on the grid <coughs> and there can be different nets for the exact same shape so these are the nets for the exact same shape depending upon which side is joined with which side and is being opened on uh, which direction so let's change the shape so this was a square let's do it with a cuboid so this is a cuboid and now we just have the shape let's add faces and edges to that so when I open this you guys can clearly see what is happening over here it is really easy to observe that this box is falling apart by its sides are falling sideways and the top is going with one of the sides again it will depend on the shape of your graph um, so for instance if you have extra boxes on the right hand side that is where you're going to make the top if you have it on the lower side that is where you're going to make the top so that totally depends upon the, uh, the amount of space that you're given in the question and you know if i close it down you guys can see that the box comes together as a whole so this is a cuboid when open uh let's look at a uh, at a prism so this is a prism let's add edges and um and vertices to that and now if you guys can see if i'm going to open it i want you guys to just hold on for a second 
imagine what is going to happen imagine what is going to happen okay and if i open it it can open again it can open in various directions there are so many nets that are that are possible so if i'm looking at it from the top it's going to either open this way or we can change that we can change the orientation of opening it all right now what we can see happening is it can open in other directions as well so don't panic if you guys are seeing more than one nets for the same shape there are actually a lot of different nets for the same shape and that just depends upon the way so for example this is i think the easiest one for the shape uh, is because if you guys can see now the sides are falling apart and the other side has uh, fell apart in the forward direction and the top goes with that so this is the easiest one so imagine so do not panic if you are unable to uh, find out the um, the right orientation right away that depends upon the amount of boxes that you guys have in the exam um, now let's just look at some interesting diagrams so for example this is a pentagon pentagon and this is a, a prism with pentagon as sides so it can open like this like you know okay let me just like this i'll try to open it in a very uh, in a better way uh, so you guys are going to like this one okay so now we can we can see the sides are falling on the uh, on the right hand and left hand sides and the top goes with one of the sides and now the top can go with any of the sides doesn't matter which one okay so that just depends upon how much place you have on the graph so don't have to get confused it's really simple one they won't test you on really difficult diagrams i'll go to past paper questions just in a bit um so this is like this <clears throat> uh let's do it with pyramids pyramids are really really interesting so let's do this with this pyramid first let's allocate some places okay so this is a pyramid what what is going to happen guys if i open this up so just just try to imagine just take a second what is going to happen if i open this pyramid so there are triangles on each side right so just try to imagine that those triangles are going to go open right and they are going to open so this is a weird way of opening it i i'm going to show you an easier way of opening this so the easier way of opening this is this so all you have to do is you have to open the triangles on the right hand sides so and this is how easy it is this is how easy it is so you just have to open the triangles on each side and they just fall on the sides and this is what a net of a diagram is uh for in, for instance um uh what if we have a triangle if we have a triangular pyramid so this is a triangle pyramid you, you guys can see clearly and if i if we're going to open this <clears throat> so this is going to open to okay so this is the simplest opening i think you guys would like so this is going to open oops not this one this one i think yeah so this one will open like this or or again you can make the side sides fall apart in the uh, in each of the directions that totally depends upon that totally depends upon which side we are opening so this is the way you guys can open uh, a pyramid of course there is one more net which you guys were thinking about they did not make it and that is like you know a little bit problem with this app uh, okay what about this one what about this one so it's a hexagonal prism so there is there are six sides to the base and this is a prism uh, and sorry it's a pyramid and what you have to do is yeah this one thanks and if i open it all the triangles are going to fall apart and this is how the net is going to look like again if you close it this is a pyramid this is a pyramid and if you look from the top open it up when it falls sides it's like a beautiful net okay so these are really aesthetic shapes and uh, okay so let's make this one this is really interesting uh, so it's a right angle triangle okay so it's a right angle a uh, right angled prism and this one came in our exam as well so that is why i'm trying uh, going to show you this one um and let's see okay no, not this one just a second let me find you the right one okay yep okay so we can try to see this is the shape and if we try to open it it will open so let's have a look from top so all the triangles will fall apart 
on that base. There could be different bases. Of course, you can use the uh, lower one as the base as well. Um, I think you guys are going to like this one a lot better. So if we're going to open this, this triangle goes here. Um, of course, the triangle uh, on the top left, this triangle can also be in the other direction as well. And this is like how basically you're trying to open a shape um, in different direction. Um, they've never asked us to open a cylinder, but I'm just trying to show you how a cylinder would open. So a cylinder will open like this. So once a cylinder is open, both the circles are open and the curved surface area will become a rectangle. And this is how a um, net of a cylinder would look like. So for example, it was closed. The top goes away and this opens like as a ribbon. So this is the net of a cylinder. And then uh, for a cone. Um, okay, so for a cone, uh, we, most of us guys do understand that the base will go off and the top, the curved surface area of cone always becomes a sector. The top surface area of cone will always become a sector. So this is how a cone is open because we have learned in mensuration as well that when a cone is open, it will always be, make a sector. It can be a pizza slice or a Pac-Man, but a cone, when a cone is open, it will always become a sector. So this has not been yet tested, but I just wanted to show you how the shapes look like when while they are being open. So this is how you have to imagine what nets are. Now let's do a couple of past paper questions. So that would make like, you know, really good sense. So if base of a cuboid uh, is a square with length four, so you're thinking about a cuboid whose base is square four and you don't know its height. So base is square four, the volume is given. So volume is equals to length into width into height. You don't know the height of this shape. Volume is 48, length is four, width is four as well, and height is unknown. If you calculate height, height will come out to be three. So we're trying to open, we're, we're trying to open uh, a shape which has a base of four by four. It, has, it is going to be a base of four by four. Then it is going to have four sides of four by three each. All of these sides are going to be four by three. They will fall apart on the sides and then you'll have to adjust for a top as well, which is four by four. So let's try how to do that. Um, so this is four by four. This is the base that has already been drawn. So this is the base that has already been drawn. So I'm gonna just shade this one that this has already been drawn. Now, what we're trying to do, we're going to make three sides of four by three. So the width is four and the height is three on either side. So I'm going to make three, uh, four sides on each side. So these are the sides, which are four by three. So these are the side walls that have fallen off. And now we have left to make the top. Now the top is four by four again. Now the top can be over, over this side. The top can come with this side, which is four by four, but we don't have enough space on the left hand side. That is why I'm not making it there. I can try to make it a four by four box over here. That would be perfectly fine. I can try to make a four by four box over here. That would be perfectly fine. And I don't have enough space to make a four by four box over here. So you have two different possible positions for the top. You can either attach it with this position and this would be a perfectly fine net and this is the correct net for the shape given, or you could have attached this box over here as well, four by four, and that would have given you the final net. So this is the basic idea, and if you're trying to imagine what shape it would have looked like in real, so this is the shape, shape guys, you're looking at. Uh, so the height of this rectangle was, uh, okay, so let me just fix the orientation. Yep, so this is what we're trying to make, and you had, um, a cuboid with a square base of four by four, the height is three, and just look at this guys, this is how it is going to open. So the top was going to be on either of the sides. Um, so I only had options in on the top, or if I had uh, drawn the box on the right hand side, this is how it would have looked. These are the two orientation that were possible because there were not enough boxes on the left or the right hand side, or left or the bottom side of the shape. 
let's move to this one. Okay, now that you have seen so many animations by now, uh, this is going to be easier for you guys to predict. Okay, so what sort of thing would make a shape like this? So it's going to be a cuboid. Cuboid. A cuboid is going to make shape, shape like this. So it's uh, if any of you, uh, being a child, has ever opened a matchstick, this is usually how a matchstick opens like. You know, a matchstick box. Uh, sorry, matchbox. Ma a matchstick box. So if you have ever opened a matchstick box or um, a, any cuboid box for a biscuit or any packaging, this is how a cuboid opens up like. Okay, so what is the second one? Uh, second one seems really familiar because we I just showed you this shape a bit ago. Let's just have a, just have a quick uh, look at this. So this is the shape uh, that is being shown to you. It's just a bit of um, recognition that you have to do. So this is what they are showing you and they're asking you what will it make? So it's a square base pyramid. It's a square base pyramid. Okay, uh, what about this shape? What about this shape? What would this make? These two triangles are going to stand up and this is going to make a prism. This is going to make a right angled triangle prism. Right angled prism. Okay, I'm going to try to show you the exact shape for this. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Um, I think I had these. Mm, I think I just saw that. Yep. Yeah, this is the shape that we're looking at uh, because when I'm going to open this up and we will have this shape. So this is the shape that is being shown to you and if I try to close it, uh, if you guys can see, this is how it closes and it makes a, it makes a prism. So this is how the shape is open and and this is the shape and it always closes down to a tri make a right angle triangle prism. Uh, I'm sure about right angle because this is making a 90 degree. So this is one of the shapes that are being shown. Uh, similarly, again over here, uh, we are. it's very easy to imagine over here, this right angle triangle is going to fall this way. This right angle triangle is going to fall this way. And um, so the scale is one centimeter to represent two units. So on a scale, on the scale, this would be four, this would be six, this would be five, and this would be three on the scale. So the shape that, first of all, you have to recognize which face is already made. So it's six by four is already made. So that means this purple face, the base is already made. So this is the base that we're looking at. This is already made. Now we have to make the rest of the two um, sides. So first of all, I'm gonna make the triangles fall. So triangle is going to be three by four. The other triangle is going to fall the other side. So these are the two triangles. Um, this back side is going to fall backwards. This back side, which is going to be three by six is going to fall backwards. So this is going to be three by six, this side is going to fall backwards. Now, there is only one side left. That is the slant uh, side over here. I'm going to label it with a green color. So you guys can see, this is going to be five by six and it's going to be opening in the forward direction. So it's going to be five boxes in the front and six boxes like this. And this is going to be the shape that is going to open in the forward direction. Now, I know this requires a little bit of imagination, but it's like, you know, uh, since you have seen a couple of animations, it's easier for you guys. Okay. What is the special name of the solid? Mathematical solid? This is a pyramid. A pyramid will earn you mark. A square based pyramid will also earn you mark. It's a pyramid. How many number of vertices are there? <coughs> so vertices are the number of corners that are made. So there are one, two, three, four, and five. Fifth one is the vertex that is made by all of them combined, this is one vertex because they are going to come together. 
and I'll just show you in a moment. Before on that, I will write five uh, five vertices. Um, so let's go back to the shape. This was a square based pyramid. Uh, this one is the pyramid that we're looking at. And when we are going to assign vertices to this, uh, you guys can see there is a count of five vertices also over here. And this is the shape that they have shown you. Yep, this is the shape. And this is what we're looking at. And when we close this shape, when we close this shape, this shape, when the shape comes together, there are four, four vertices at the base. So you guys can clearly see there are four vertices at the base and there's one vertex at the top when all of the pointers connected at the top. So there are five vertices over here. And let's move on to the next question. In this question, you have a pyramid, uh, which has a square, uh, which has a square base. All of the base uh, angles are three. So that is already made. Uh, they've already made two triangles. Uh, so one triangle is four by three. So this triangle has fallen onto this side. So this triangle, I'm just going to color uh, for reference. So this green triangle is already over here. Um, this red triangle, which is in the front, is already made over here as well. So we're just going to draw two more triangles and let's understand where they're going to fall. The triangle at the back is, uh, is with the height of four and a base of three. So it's going to fall backwards. So it's going to be a triangle with base of four, uh, height of four and base of three on this side. Okay, now we are left with only this triangle and we do not know what is the height for this EC over here. So that is what we have to decide. We understand that the base is three. We apply Pythagoras and we say height squared is equals to four squared plus three squared. I'm applying Pythagoras to this right angle triangle, which I'm turning red. And once I have this, I know hypotenuse squared is equals to 16 plus nine is 25. Height is five. Hypotenuse is five. So when this triangle is going to fall to the other side, its height is going to become five. And the base is going to be three. And this is the shape that we are looking at. Uh, for the net of this shape. So it's not really difficult once you understand the way things are going to fall in each direction. Okay, that brings us to another question. Uh, in this question, what we're going to see is uh, we're going to understand um, that the diagram shows a closed box. The box is a cuboid and we're trying to open this box. First of all, you have to realize this is the base two by four and this base has already been. Uh, okay, so this is the base to which is two by four. It's always important to mark what the base is. Once you identify the base, it's so easy to understand where things are falling. So this is the left side. So I'm, I'm gonna mark this. This is the side that has been made over here. This has fallen on the other side. And this is the side which we are looking at this side. Okay, so if I want to make these two, so this is two by three, and this is two by three as well. So I'm going to make three boxes over here along the base in the upward direction and the downward direction as well. Now, all we are left with is the top. We don't know where the top is going to be. So let's understand. Top can go with either of the sides depending upon which side you have the space for. So the top is going to be the same size as base. So which means we need a rectangle this big. Uh, we know that there's no space over here. There's no space over here for this rectangle. There's no space over here for this rectangle. So the only place this rectangle can go is on the right hand side. So the issue with the top is that the top is allowed to go with any of the bases. The top is allowed to go with any of the base, uh, any of the walls. So that only depends upon the amount of space that they've given you in the question. And this is the final net for this shape. It's very easy to memorize this once you remember the animations that I've shown you already. Uh, all right, let's do the last question that is there in the past paper questions. Um, so or, or for this question, uh, they have shown you this triangular um, prism, triangular prism, and they've already made a few shapes and let's understand what those shapes are. So they've made a five, uh, okay. So there is a four by three, four by three box. So there is a four by three box. And if we go to our paper, we can see this is a four by three box. This is what they have made over here. So first thing is to identify what is the centerpiece that they're keeping. So the centerpiece is four by three. This is the piece. Now they have opened a triangle over this side, onto this side for this one, over here actually. And 
we're going to open the second triangle in the similar direction as well. So these are the two triangles that are going to open. Um, so they're keeping this edge intact and these triangles are opening in this direction. Then they have the other side which is four by four. This side is drawn over here as you guys can see. So there's only one side left which is five by four which is left. There is no other place to draw a five by four rectangle than onto this end. And this is where you're going to draw a rectangle with five by four. I understand that some of us have trouble with this concept, but it's a really easy concept if you understand how things are opening. So I know it's a bit of a perceptive issue for many of us. Do not panic on this. This is not that difficult. You guys will be able to understand a simple diagram. So just go over all of these questions. These are all the past paper questions that they have tested in paper one for NETS. And I have explained uh, the idea through animations as well. Hopefully this is going to help you for your exam. And I think this is going to suffice. So do not panic on this topic anymore. And uh, please go over this video once more if you're uncomfortable. If this video has helped you, please give us a subscribe share it with your friends so that they can benefit in their exams day after tomorrow. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Allah Hafiz.